Right then, okay, last week I released a video about installing a B-Day that I did film quite a long time ago, but I wanted to space out the B-Day videos. I didn't want you to get B-Day'd out. It's almost like smearing poo all over your own bum, which is not what you do when you get a B-Day, which is kind of why I wanted to address some of the comments in this video. In this first, like, plumbing advice, ask the plumber comments video that I've done in a little while. So, we're just gonna go through your comments, and Harry's gonna be the one to decide, aren't you, Harry, whether they get in or not. So this is Oliver Oliverson, and so this is this not even really a question. He said, once you've had a B-Day bum wash, you realize how unhygienic using paper alone really is. And he's not wrong. Uh, okay, Ryan Rumkey said, don't know how I feel about B-Days. I still laugh at the in-betweeners when Jay says they're for checking your kids. I've got to say, Matt, the best thing about the in-betweeners is when Jay punches the fish to death. It's not a shock, Jay! Oh, get it out, Neil! I better kill it. It's the kindest thing to do. It won't survive back in the sea now. That's my favourite bit in that. There's not actually a lot of questions in this. It's more just people voicing off about whether they do or don't like B-Days. Um, good Saturday morning to you from Wellington, Somerset. That's from David Bone. Good morning on a Saturday to you as well, David. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, Gary Housen said, James, had these in Turkey for years. Definitely the way forward, you won't look back. But it's funny you say that, Gary, because Vitra is actually a Turkish manufacturer. There's some other cool stuff that they've got coming out that I want to get my hands on, but you know, sometimes it's difficult, isn't it? When you're nothing but a lowly blonde plumber. James Price, who's a member of the Ale Army. I'll see you on Thursday night, mate, at 6.30. Um, nice early vid, mate. Top work once again. Love the sneak peeks on the Ale Army. Good lad. Every Thursday night at half six, come and join. How about that? Also, I think he's bought himself a new top as well. By the way, this is actually a plumber parts top here, Harry. Do you notice that? Yeah, nice. What is it? What are they? Um, bolts. Compression fittings. Yeah. 22 mil ones, to be precise. <laughs> Get Bry is here as well. Uh, Get Bry sent me, I think it was you, Get Bry, sent me a present for Big G many moons ago. Uh, hey, Jimmy, cracking bit of kit. I tried to talk one of my customers into one of these, but she's gone down the traditional B-Day route as well. Anyway, love the song. It was a great song, wasn't it? Did anyone notice the lyric at the end? The orangutan's lyric. Brian Wilton said, I've had a B-Day since 2000, they are great. Well done, Brian. No questions on this one, which must, has, must mean the video has done its job. It's told you everything you need to know. Uh, Stephen Potter said, B-Days are great, save a fortune on toilet paper. Obviously they do. So, oh, no, Harry, you say you can't use toilet paper. Do you have a towel next to it? Like a poo towel? Okay. It's making me wonder now whether when I've been in Italy, I've dried my hands on the right towel or not. <laughs> Anyway, and then Joseph Hallam came up with possibly one of the most highbrow, interesting, historical comments on this channel so far. He said, the history of why we don't use B-Days on the scale of that of Europe stems back hundreds of years and is actually quite interesting to read. It all stemmed from an association with prostitution and birth control in France and neighboring countries in the European mainland. I see, I know what you're getting at here, so Okay, we're not going to go any further, but he says the English were disgusted with the thought and so shunned the B-Day in favour of good old toilet roll. That decision was definitely made to our detriment, in my opinion. There you go, you learn something every day. I didn't know there was so much history to B-Days. Dystown314, member of the Ale Army. Uh, James beat me to it in the early bird. The Vitra B-Day looks a nice bit of kit. Wonder why B-Days are not as widely used in the UK. Well, we know now, don't we? Surely it's cleaner and more hygienic. Great vid plumber parts, just think of those homeless orangutans. Mate, you've listened to the video, that's one of the lyrics in it. Hosseini Hadi, if I've said your name right, said, just amazing and a little different. Cheers, mate. Liam Cowley said, the first time I saw a B-Day was again in Turkey in 2016. Had no idea what the tap on the wall was for. Mary Berry would not be pleased, I got a soggy bottom. Lofa Sheffield said, love the mood lighting. Is it bathroom compliant? Well, it is Lofa. Um, only thing that could make it even better is some mood music, perhaps an integrated sound system. So what's it to be for a stinky movement? Holsts, Mars, the bringer of war. Bloody hell, mate, some highbrow music here. A loose movement, John Coltrane's Black Pearls, and for the day after a curry and lots of lager, Motorhead's Overkill. 
<laughs> Good stuff. 13 Coachman said, we used to have an ascending spray B-Day, absolute heaven, uh, but didn't comply with regs. New one, nowhere near as nice to use. Wouldn't be without one though. Brilliant videos. Okay, good man. Mike Cotton said, likes the look of this. I think I'll go for it in my ensuite when I get round to it. Good man, pop it in there. Do they do a back to wall version rather than wall hung? I fitted a Vitra back to wall of this shape with a concealed cistern in my downstairs loo. Feel a bit more confident on that, even if I lift fitted a floater. I don't know if they do actually. Go onto Vitra's website. I'll leave a link below and you can check it out there. Okay, mate? Good stuff. Ah, and now we've gone all the way over to Italy. This is from Silvano di Lazzari. In Italy, no, I'm not gonna do an accent, mate. Uh, in Italy, every bathroom has always had a bidet, and boy, don't I know it. Italy's one of my favorite places. Cinque Terre, mate, is beautiful. Until you get to La Spezia, where suddenly it goes shit. Anyway, every bathroom has always had a bidet. Ensures perfect hygiene for the private parts. The bidet in Italy is not like the one shown in the video. It is a separate bowl. So you sit there, there's a mixer tap from which water comes out, yeah, then you use a mild soap, a mild soap to clean the private parts. So what you're saying there is don't use Swarfiga with the grit in it. That wouldn't be a good idea. And then he just says stop. Then there are bidets for disabled people specially adapted to their needs. Okay, cool, that's nice to know. Uh, and then Jay Belfield addressed what I said about um, braided pipes and it's just one of those things it's weird isn't it the, the uk we don't like to see braided hoses but we also don't mind seeing all the pipes clipped on the wall riddle me that he said we do, we like copper over here because well done copper pipes require measurement and a bit of skill to get exactly right and look neat braided pipes are a shortcut and show you don't care yeah i kind of agree with that mate and this one this is probably one of my favorite comments i've ever had this is from ferdeus garden said i like you you are a real man's body. To which I replied, thanks? Question mark? What the f thanks ever so much, guys, for your comments on that video. It's been very emotional to read them out. Uh, the, the least amount of questions I think I've ever seen in a Plumber Parts video when it came to comments. Just a lot of people going on about B-Days and how they do or don't like them. But there you go, it's good to see. Remember to leave comments on all Plumber Parts videos, it's always a good thing to do. We should have another video going out on Saturday. So what I'm gonna do with these comments videos is reply to them on the Saturday's video, if you know what I mean. So any comments on the Saturday's video, they'll be the ones I address. So remember to do that. Anyway, thanks ever so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Hit the subscribe, hit the like, and remember to hold tight. See you soon.